So first thing we're going to do, we're going to open up a new document in Flash, so ActionScript 3.0. Once it's open, all right, we're going to start building our uh, simple, very simple user interface. And I'd like you guys to follow that with me. If you do have any questions, raise your hand. But um, it's it's going to be pretty simple to follow. We've done this thing before. I'm going to try to go as slow as I can. So I'm going to make some shapes here. The first shape is going to be a button. A little square like that. I'm going to select it. And once I selected it, I'm going to hit F8. And F8 converts that to a symbol. I'm going to use type movie clip. Okay, we don't need this stuff at the bottom, so advanced, you can actually close it off so it doesn't get in the way. I'm going to name it my button. All right, so type, movie clip, uh, registration. Uh, for now, we're going to keep everything top left. I'm going to hit OK. Now I'm going to go into the properties. And in properties, I have this instance name, a uh, little place where I can record an instance name. I'm going to click in there and type in btn1 for button 1. And please type it in exactly as I have it so that in the code you can follow what code I write that you don't have to remember what you put in there if it was different. All right, everybody good? All right, now what I'm going to do is going to click on this button, hold Alt, and produce another copy by pulling on it, and do it again. And I'm holding also Shift to make sure that they're aligned. So I have my navigation set up. Those three buttons are going to be button 1, button 2, and button 3. Now, all of them, if you, if you click each one, all of them have the same instance name. We need to change, button one is fine, but for button two, we need to change it to button two. So BTN two with a camel case, so T is going to capital. And for three, I'm going to do the same, three. You guys have it? Alrighty. Now we're going to rename this layer as NAV, or you can name it buttons or navigation. I usually shorten it, make it stand out. NAV for me, um, I'm used to it. Then I'm going to create another layer, and I'm going to name that background, so BG. And I'm going to put that on the very bottom. And just to show that the background layer can be there and it can stay the same, we're just going to type in the word background just to kind of show that the background can go on that layer and we can just leave it there and not have to worry about it. So, so far you should have background and navigation layers. And um, next layer I'm going to create <coughs> is going to be content. Content. Content is where you're going to have your uh, pictures or text, whatever you need for your user interfaces, right? So background is whatever's in the background. Navigation is what you can click on to advance to the other screens. And then content is what changes from screen to screen. You know, the pictures change and the words change and everything like that. So we're going to select, let's say, orange here and the text tool. And we're going to type in page one. 
So that's going to be page one. And just to emphasize that we can put graphics in there, I'm also going to put a little square for page one, like so. So very basic, simple interface. Mm -hmm. Now next layer is going to be labels. And labels, we're not going to have anything on the stage. However, we are going to mark them uh, on the frames to give the frames names to which we can refer an action script because this is a stretched out timeline version where we're gonna put things on a timeline and then say okay the playhead needs to go to frame so-and-so and then to, to this frame and to this frame and that's how the movie is gonna play so that's gonna be labels and I usually make it uh, look like it's separating the actions from the rest of the graphics and everything that's on the stage so the final top layer is going to be action script layer and since we have action script 2 and action script 3 and uh, a lot of people still moving from 2 to 3 or let's say you you can still have um, projects that are in 2 that you have to continue working in 2 just indicate which one it is so AS3 or AS2 we used to write actions before, but now you have to indicate which one it is. Again, for your convenience. Mm -hmm. 